cafe anyway. Hey, hey, how are we? Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, I've lived in the Bay Area now for 14 years, and I finally got to go to the Google campus. Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, they got a bunch of campuses. I went to one, and I walked around, and took a lot of pictures, and then I found free things to eat. Free things to eat. Lots of little delicious things. Things that were so neat to eat that were like sort of healthy but not that healthy. Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, and forget about baristas. They got robotic baristas there. That's the best awesome thing. Mike's. I enjoyed that. Daily. So. Podcast. My podcast picture is going to yeah. be something from my walk there today, enjoying walking around. And seeing the amazing things at such a you know they let so many people go recently so it was actually pretty deserted but would I want to work there yeah <laughs> it's still it's still amazing and they're still building stuff so I don't know how bad they're hurting I mean they're still con- there's a lot of construction it's interesting the one we went to in Mountain View it was adjacent to a beautiful walking area, like a nature preserve. So once you get a little angry and overly frustrated with computer programming and AI and all the rest, you just walk across the street and there's this beautiful hill and all this natural bay area flora and fauna. That was amazing. So very thankful to the friend of mine who was able to get me in and Show me around. Thank you so much. You can see the picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. I think it's the one. I'm in Mountain View. And I was saying to my friend as we were standing on this balcony overlooking Silicon Valley. I'm like, Silicon Valley is not really a valley. It's more of a bowl. He goes, yeah, that doesn't. And here's today's podcast picture. That doesn't have a ring to it like Silicon Valley. Silicon Bowl. That's just... I go, really, though, it is because, the. I mean, if you look that direction, when you see a little bit of Fremont and those hills and mountains and then the mountains there that, you know, go over to the Santa Cruz and all that, then you see sort of a valley thing happening. But anyway, cafe, anyway, that's what I discovered today. And the late great Basil the Boxer never got to go to Google. So... But many a time we used Google Maps to get to destinations that we would go walking at. So I guess I have that connection to Google with Basil the Boxer, the late great Basil the Boxer. Okay, listen, there's an unexpected truth about calories. Sometimes in our quest to cut calories, we miss the obvious. And if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. That doesn't mean you can't trust food labels And you need to start cooking everything from scratch That's true Consider the source first And I got this from Hungry Girl She's got her own podcast But She doesn't really translate well to podcasts I have to say That's my slug and my plug The front panel will close automatically but I did listen to it quite a And it's got this Uh I don't know. There's just a Dina Menzel frozen thing about her. I don't know what it is. It's it. I expect it. She's got singing at the beginning of her show. That's unheard of in podcasting. That was Mike being facetious because he sings at the beginning of every podcast. I have to point out my facetiousness because my sarcastic voice doesn't work that well. But what she's saying is consider the source. Bigger and more established food brands tend to have more accurate nutrition information, mainly because they have the resources to calculate it. And they have more to lose if their numbers are inaccurate. Interesting. Use your intuition. If the local bakery makes enormous decadent muffins and claims they have 100 calories each, you might want to opt for something less suspicious. 
And servings can be deceiving. Pay close attention to the serving size and number of servings per container. That packaged snack may look like a single serving, but oftentimes it's two or more. Flip over the package and check the number of servings, then do the math. Hey, today I drank two. Two, what's it called? Uh, Cold brews. Cold coffee, cold coffees in the can. I forget who makes it, but it said 15 calories each, each can. So I downed two of those, which explains this. This podcast today Did it really have 15 calories? I don't know I didn't make the cold brew I try to make it at home Doesn't taste as good as what I had from that can though And Google employees get that whenever they want And then there's gyms There's a gym in every building That I saw And have you noticed any? Do you have any friends that Have been to Google or Know of Google people or whatever They Sound just like the way I sound Oh And their lawn is perfectly manicured No it's not It's got some wild weeds Growing here and there Oh and they've got Those little Android googlies everywhere Yeah that's true They got all these little android statues If you have a droid phone And it goes through updates you see the little Android thing they got life size And bigger Statues of those all over They're really fun and whimsical Whimsical I meant So government guidelines Allow for error FDA guidelines allow food labels To be off as much as 20% This means your go to snack bar With a reported 250 calories Could have closer to 300 calories But again consider the brand Well established food manufacturers Are less likely to have inaccurate numbers And FDA guidelines If a product has less than 5 calories per serving The calorie count can be rounded down to zero This doesn't mean calorie free foods are off limits As we go outside a cafe anyway Where we bring you Mike's Deli Podcast Somewhere in Podcaster Valley Anyway The last place on earth We will travel into the incredible universe Each serving can contain up to 4 calories According to those zero calorie dressings and condiments And sometimes those servings are unrealistically small These are known to contain questionable ingredients So you may want to opt for low calorie options instead No calorie sweeteners The average packet actually has four calories That's still a calorie bargain compared with real sugar Which has 15 calories per packet And is actually half as sweet And with so many varieties Including natural picks There really is something for everyone Find your favorite And consider keeping the number of packets you use in check And here's a big one Non-stick cooking spray We were using so much non-stick cooking spray recently And then my lovely lady friend Looked at the label The labels on most sprays say zero calories For a fourth second of a spray Fourth of a second More realistic One second spray Has about 5 to 10 calories And 0.5 grams of fat That's not bad When regular oil Works better than spray Measure it out One teaspoon Has about 40 calories And 4.5 grams of fat And you also want to check out All natural spray oils In non aerosol containers Because that's where it gets funky If some of the sprays Like they sell at Costco You're What what is in this? What is Is this actually oil? What What other weird stuff is in here? And grab a food scale The nutritional info listed Is almost always based on weight Those 100 calorie muffins The label might list each muffin as two ounces, but if it really weighs in at three and a half ounces, it contains at least 175 calories, not 100 calories. They, on April 28th, which was yesterday, it was National Blueberry Pie Day. Okay. Thank you, hungry girl. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Look 
who is here. I can't see uh, who they are because uh, the light just went out outside a cafe anyway. Oh, I hope it comes back on. Oh, look. I just saw a picture of the podcast picture yesterday was in another wonderful place I've gone to with the late great Basil the Boxer up there at the top of Columbia in Podcastro Valley. And this was a year ago. And that's good. I weigh about the same. But I still need to lose weight And I need to check the calories I ate some things That were a little fattening today At Google But uh, yes All the podcast pictures You can see at Mike'sDailyPodcast.com Oh and today Today is a miraculous Episode number F F episode I didn't even mention it Look who's here Hi Mike It's Benita the Rodeo Queen How y'all doing And happy 2600 F F and to this one field player tell you what what yeah what she said happy 2600 epi- f- episode yes we've done 2600 f- f- episodes of this podcast thank you so much yes and speaking of google you can listen to this podcast on google play it's very easy to find and it's on Spotify and a million other places. I list all those at mikesdailypodcast.com. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make the least droopy handsome in the air. Thank you. Mmm. So good. I'm going to pretend like I just drank it. That's good. Drink right now. I cut you. That's why I just pretended I drank it. And why I pretended like I was a Google employee to get into Google today. I can pretend a lot of things. Like we're outside a cafe anyway. And like, you can call me. Somebody actually called but didn't leave a message today. Don't be shy. Leave a message. And we can go in and play it back on the segment. Emails from email and your common not so comments. Call me at 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, it's A-Frame. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.